Hello. Welcome back. Well, uh, I had done this video before, but I thought it, it went too long because I had put two questions together. So I'm re-recording the whole thing. Uh, I like this question I made up because uh, in one question, I can go over the entire integration of sine, powers of sine and cos, and curve sketching of parametric equations, how to find areas and volumes using parametric equations. I found that a very useful question. It will be a fantastic revision. Oh, by the way, my name is Sosale Mohana. Sosale Mohana. I teach, sorry, I taught A-level math for a long time. I'm just recording these videos to help students revise for their exams. So let's get on with it. First part says, what I'll do is I've left those spaces so I can write the answers there. I've got integral sine power 4 theta cos squared theta d theta. All are even powers. How do we integrate even powers of sine and cos? Double angle formula. To use double angle formula, I require sine squared and cos squared. You have to use a bit of your brains here. So this becomes integral sine squared theta times sine squared theta. There is a reason why I am doing it this way. The reason being, I can write sine power sine squared theta whole squared. But you see, sine squared theta is 1 minus cos. Cos squared theta is 1 plus cos. Remember your GCSE formula, A minus B and A plus B makes it A squared minus B squared. So to use that formula, I'm writing it that way. So it becomes integral half of 1 minus cos 2 theta, another half of 1 minus cos 2 theta, and a half of 1 plus cos 2 theta d theta. I haven't integrated yet. So that's an eighth integral. These two become 1 minus cos squared 2 theta. Right, let's open the brackets. It's one eighth integral one minus cos two theta. Sorry, one minus cos square two theta minus cos two theta plus cos cube two theta. Fine. Look, I can integrate one. I can integrate minus cos two theta. I am rearranging minus. I can't integrate cos square 2 theta. Remember, I told you repeat the mixture till the patient is either cured or he dies. In my case, I am a maths doctor. That's I am and a patient too. I have to cure myself of the square. So I will write it as half of 1 minus cos 4 theta. I can integrate that. I can integrate that. <coughs> Cos cube is an odd power of cos. Anytime you only an odd power or an odd and an even power or an even and odd power or a pure odd power, what you do is split them as even and odd, even and one. So cos square 2 theta times cos 2 theta d theta. Let me finish the integration of the first bit. So it's 1 8 of, look this, oh no, let, let's do one more step. 1 minus cos 2 theta minus half plus cos 4 theta plus 1 eighth integral 1 minus sine squared 2 theta times cos 2 theta d theta. You understand why I did that? Because when I differentiate a sign, I get a cos. Remember, I told you, however complicated the question might be. It will ultimately come down to one simple integral in sine and cos. So that's what I'm trying to use. Right? I'm looking for a good pen. So now, here I'm going to use u equals sine 2 theta 
du equal to 2 cos 2 theta d theta. So, d theta equal to a half of du over cos 2 theta. So, this I can integrate 1 8. Look, that's a 1, that's a minus half. 1 minus half is half. When I integrate half, I get half theta minus that is done. You know, I make it a habit to tick to know, yes, I have finished it, I don't have to do it again. Otherwise, you know, you will have to do 1 theta and then do half theta and then subtract. So, make life easier, that's all. Cos 2 theta gives you sine 2 theta half. Cos 4 theta gives you quarter sine 4 theta plus 1 16th integral 1 minus u squared du. Why? Because the cos 2 theta and the cos 2 theta cancels, it becomes 1 minus u squared. So, it is 1 over 16 theta minus 1 over 16 sine oops 2 theta plus 1 over 32 sine 4 theta plus 1 over 16 times u minus u cube over 3 u is sine 2 theta, u cube is sine 2 theta over 3. So, therefore, it becomes 1 over 16 theta minus 1 over 16. Oh my god, I forgot to turn on the clock again. I might have, sorry, the stopwatch. So, I might have done about 6 minutes. So, I will do another 15 minutes max. So, it will be a 20 minute lesson. All right, minus 1 over 16 sine 2 theta plus 1 over 32 sine 4 theta. Look, u is sine 2 theta plus 1 over 16 sine 2 theta. Ah, I could have cancelled those. Anyway, I'll cancel it there. Minus 1 over 48 sine cube 2 theta. Let's see. You see, you, I have gone through how to integrate even powers and during inside that, I ended up getting an odd power and I have taught, gone over how to integrate an odd power of cos. Very good. Let me wrap this off. Part B is quite interesting. It's all algebra basically. Let's look at part B integral sine power 7 theta cos squared theta d theta. I have an odd and an even power and your teachers have taught you and I have also gone over it. Anytime you have an odd and an even or an even and an odd or an odd and an odd, split the smallest odd power as 1 and an even power. The smallest odd power I have is 7, so I will write it as integral sine power 6 theta cos squared theta sine theta d theta. Why did I split the sine power 6 and sine? Because this sine power 6, I will write as 1 minus cos squared theta whole cube. I have got a cos and a cos and a sine, derivative of cos is sine, that is why. So, it becomes integral 1 minus cos squared theta whole cube times cos squared theta times sin theta d theta. Suppose I were to call u equal to cos theta. I can use inspection. Why I do not use it is the 1 becomes u. Our students, I have seen some of them using it as theta instead of cos theta. That is why I am doing it this way. So, du by d theta is minus sin theta. So, du equal to minus sin theta d theta. So, that becomes minus du. So, minus integral 1 minus u squared the whole cube u squared du. That is minus 1 plus 3 u squared minus 3 u cube. Sorry, u power 4 plus u power 6 multiplied by u squared du. So, that becomes integral 
minus u squared plus 3u power 4 minus 3u power 6 plus u power 8 du which is minus u cube over 3 plus 3u power 5 over 5 minus 3u power 7 over 7 plus u power 9 over 9 plus c. But what is u? Cos theta. So it becomes minus 1 over 3 cos cube theta plus 3 over 5 cos power 5 theta minus 3 over 7 cos power 7 theta plus 1 over 9 cos power 9 theta plus c. You might be wondering why am I writing those answers there? Remember I told you God gives us brains to use. If the question has spots A, B, C, D with some horrible integration in the beginning, if it's an exam question, they don't expect you to do all the integration again when you find areas and volumes, right? So they have some link with part D and part T. That's why I'm writing the answers. So that when I do part D and part T, I just have to substitute. Okay. <clears throat> Let me confirm I'm correct. Sometimes, you know, I commit horrible errors. 1 minus 3 plus 3 u squared. Oh, yeah, there's a minus. So, 1 minus 3 u squared plus 3 u power 4 minus u power 6. So, minus 1 plus 3 u squared minus 3 u power 4 plus u power 6. Right. Good. So, having done that, let's go to part C. Part C says, I need to sketch the curve uh, x equal to a cos cube t, y equal to a sin cube t, 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 2 pi, sorry less than 2 pi. Remember I told you when it is a trigonometric function, find values from 0 to pi over 2, then use the behavior of sine and cos graphs to deduce the remaining. So, I will put the values of t as 0, pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3, pi over 2. Those are all the things I need. And x equal to a cos cube t. You know, I can do something. I will forget the a. And uh, later on, in when I draw the graph, I will bring back the A. Or is it going to be too confusing? Let us leave the A. Okay, let us leave the A. That is A, that is 0. Cos 30 is root 3 over 2. Root 3 over 2, root 3 cube is 3 root 3. 2 cube is 8. 3 root 3 over 8 A. 3 root 3 over 8 A. Am I correct? Root 3 cube is 3 root 3. 2 cube is 8, yeah. And that is 1 8 a. For over root 2 over 2, so 1 over root 2, so 1 over 2 root 2, look, root 2 over 2 cube is 2 root 2 over 8, which is quarter root 2. So, root 2 over 4 a, root 2 over 4 a. That is the beauty of sine and cos. So, this I can rewrite it the other way. A, 1, 8, A. And then that is 0, that is A. Uh, I leave it to you to use a calculator to find the values. When you draw this sketch, um, okay. that is A, that is A, that is minus a, that is minus a. I hope you realize both x and y cannot go beyond that. You brought in the ascending powers of a, that is t equal to 0, t equal to pi over 2. So, the graph goes like that. I will leave it to you to find those points. Okay? Right. Using your calculator, obviously. Then, as you go from 90 to 180, cos goes from 0 to minus 1, 
So x goes from 0 to minus a. Sin goes from a to 0. So the graph comes like this. By symmetry, I can draw the graph like this. This is t equal to 3 pi by 2. That's t equal to 2 pi. t equal to 2 pi obviously is excluded. Have you understood how I sketch the curve? So sketch from 0 to pi over 2 and then use the concept of symmetry and behavior of sine and cos. Let me, for my use, I draw the graph there because I need the graph for the next bit. Remember, anytime you're asked to find, okay, I'll come to that when I do part C. All right. So that is the shape of the graph. A t equal to 0, a t equal to pi over 2 minus a t equal to 3 pi uh, minus a t equal to 3 pi by 2 and of course there. I am asked to find the area enclosed by c. That means I will find that particular area and multiply by 4. How do you find areas and volumes? when it is parametric equations. The way you do it is very simple. <coughs> Write down the formula integral y dx or integral x dy in terms of x and y. So let me do that. That is 4, so area equals 4 times y4 because there are 4 equal areas, 4 integral 0 to a y dx. That the very first step, anytime you have an area or volume, write the formula in terms of x and y. Then I can substitute for y. y is a sin cube t dx by dt is a cos cube gives you 3a cos square t and cos t gives you minus sin t. So, I can substitute for dx. Chain the limits. When x is 0, t is pi over 2. When x is a, t is 0. So, it becomes minus 4 integral uh, when x is pi over 2 to 0 a sin cube t times 3a cos square t sin t dt. Let's simplify that a bit. So it's minus 12a squared integral. I can make it a plus by interchanging the signs. Sin power 4t cos squared t dt. <coughs> I always maintain in 99.9% .9 of the cases, the question is part A, B, C, D, part A has got something to do with part C and part D, part A and B, okay, which is what I have there. So that is 12A squared times 1 over 16 T plus 1 over 32 sine 4t minus 1 over 48 sin cube 2t between the limits 0 and pi over 2. Because we did that integration here, we don't have to do it here. First put in the limits. So that's 12a squared times pi over 32 plus 0 minus 0. That's it, minus 0. So it is uh, 12 pi a squared by 32 or 3 pi a squared over a. That is the area. Got it? Pretty interesting. Remember, we went through so much of integration. But when I was doing my first year university, this was in university more than in A level. And even today, of course, engineering students and uh, first year 
university students in India especially, they are given this only. They are not given that. You are expected to figure out. But generally in an Excel paper or in a UK paper, they try to lead you in the right direction by asking you to do that, which I think makes more sense. But on the other hand, it also challenges the students when you are not given those things. Ah, okay, doesn't matter. I'll draw the graph again. I have to do part D. Mm. Let me draw this graph. Ah, good. I rubbed it off. The area under the curve, that curve, from 0 to pi over 2 only. So I am only looking at that area. T equal to 0, that's A. T equal to pi over 2, that is A. This area is rotated about x axis. So I end up getting a volume like that. I am asked to find the volume. How do you use uh, volume for areas for uh, parametric equations? So it is pi integral 0 to pi over 2 y squared dx. That is pi integral 0 to pi over 2. y squared is a squared sin power 6 t dx is minus 3 a cos squared t sin t dt. Sorry, it won't be 0 to pi over 2, 0 to a. And the limits, remember last time I showed you, this becomes pi over 2, that becomes 0. Yeah, when uh, t is uh, 0, x is, a, uh, sorry, when x is a, t is 0, and when x is uh, 0, t is pi over 2. So I can interchange the limits, so it becomes 3 a cube pi integral 0 to pi over 2 sin power 7 t cos squared t dt, which is what I did here. That was the reason why I did that. So it becomes 3 a cube pi times minus 1 over 3 cos cube t plus 3 over 5 cos power 5t minus 3 over 7 cos power 7t plus 1 over 9 cos power 9t between the limits 0 and pi over 2. So that is 3a cube pi times look cos 90 is 0, cos 90 is 0, cos 90 is 0, cos 90 is 0, 0 minus minus 1 over 3 plus 3 over 5 minus 3 over 7 plus 1 over 9. Now I will have to use the calculator or that is 3 a cube pi times 1 third minus 3 fifth plus 3 seven minus 1 9. Let us do that. I need to use my calculator. <coughs> 1 over 3 minus 3 over 5 plus 3 over 7 minus 1 over 9 equal to 16 over 315 times 3, 16 over 105. So it is 16 over 105 pi a cube. Shall I tell you what I want? I suggest you do. Uh, you have seen me do it, yeah? But to make you understand, to make, to revise how to integrate even at odd powers and volumes and areas, you got these answers? Copy down the important parts of the question. Copy down the answers or leave the answer there, do it again on your own. Then open the video, go to the end, <coughs> look at the answers, figure out whether you got it right or you got it wrong. Okay? That's just if you want to. 
So let me stop at that. Sir, remember one question alone has taken me about 23, 24 minutes. So I'll see you in the next lesson with set 5. Bye bye. Hello. I want to take this opportunity to propose a vote of thanks. I would like to thank Vivid Innovations Private Limited and Commerce Forum for uh, so generously giving up their uh, studio and the facilities and the services of their uh, technicians to record all these videos for free. I think that needs to be acknowledged and appreciated. Thank you very much. And my special thanks to Mr. Nitin Mahadevapa, Mr. Nishant Guruswami, and Mr. Sadan Kumar DN for all their help and assistance in getting these videos ready, uploaded, and launched. Thank you very much.